I am Dada Peres from Verma Degree College. Today, let's we discuss about the optical activity. It is the chapter come under the polarizations of the physics paper fourth of Donere University. And let's we discuss about this optical activity. Before we going, we know that light have a wave nature, and this wave nature can be shown by the interference as well as uh, by the diffraction but diffraction shows this a wave nature but which type of wave that's to be confirmed hence the polarization helps to the wave nature is uh, a transverse wave nature this can be proved by this polarization so what is polarization polarization is the restrictions of the vibrations of the electric field component of the light in a particular direction. So that phenomena is called polarization. And we see that it restricted one way. But there are some crystals are there. When we pass it through this uh, polarized light, it can also be rotated. And this can be uh, pointed out by the Arago that he was uh, found that the intensity of the plane polarized light or polarized light will be restored in the field of view when you use the two crossed nickels at certain angles means that so we can also be diminish the light and uh, using the analyzer which can analyze the light through a def particular angle so means that the plane of polarization can be rotate in at a certain angle through a certain angle this is the that's we call optic optical activity so that is what is optical activity the, the, the property are phenomena of a, some crystals which can rotate the plane of polarization about the directions of the propagation of light such property is called optical activity there are some substances out there which rotate this type of optic plane polarization means they obey the optical activity so they are like uh, called optically active crystals this is a quartz like this way the one of the crystal which can rotate but calcium is uh, inactive calcium is not optical active but quartz is a optical active means calcite cannot be rotated this uh, polarization light so there are some uh, <coughs> important optical active substances are there not only crystals there are substances also solutions solutions are there there that is the sugar solutions uh, it can also be optically active which can rotate the plane polarization light turpentine turpentine that is turpentine turpentine sodium chloride quartz usually crystal you are familiar with this quartz Entire the polarization of the quinine sulfate solution here. So, and the cinnabar and no one. So, he get a tartaric acid. The unsenina unsen any deruta than a tartaric acid and Julia Nakuruto unsen turmarine and no other the tartaric acid here on the country. So, anyhow, this So in this optical, so it may be sometimes rotate to right or left on the basis of this, the directions, we can divide the optical active substance into two types that is dextra rotatory optical active substance and uh, another name is right handed, another one is leo rotatory optical substances that is left handed, these are the two types depends upon the direction which on uh, which they rotate the light so when the way let's we see dextra rotated the right hand 
So what is this uh, dextra rotatory substances? It is the rotates the plane polarization in clockwise direction. Clockwise direction means light travels uh, in this way. As clock moves, as clock moves, the in this way when you face this light source, when you face the light source, so it rotates like clock clock direction. So that is called uh, uh, dextra rotate. This is a clockwise directions. If you rotate the plane polarization light in clockwise direction when you face the looking towards the source light source that is called dextra rotatory some su substances are there uh, quartz crystal is found to be dextra rotatory which rotate the plane polarization in clockwise direction clockwise direction in the country way. so and also the cane sugar cane sugar so that is dextra rotatory So what is Leo rotatory? So there are some substances which rotate the plane polarization in anti-clockwise direction. So in anti-clockwise direction, we see this uh, again it's the counter the clockwise directions. So anti-clockwise direction with respect to the facing the light source that is called Leo rotatory substances. Uh, example for this are the fruit sugar. Fruit sugar behaves like a Leo rotatory means it's uh, rotate towards left of it means left of your viewing the source that is a uh, Leo rotatory so some of this uh, how this uh, depend upon this uh, rotations the amount of rotations of the plane polarization some depends upon this some four points let's see list out on this way how this uh, amount of rotations can be depend so how much it depends like this way so you see the thickness of the substances depend upon the thickness its rotation also increases is we <coughs> so on this uh, concentrations of the solution as the concentration increases so amount of rotation is uh, density of the substance also is there so this is the second point and the wavelength is mostly proportional to wavelength square that is wavelength we use it one by lambda square of the earth light and also the temperature of the substances the temperature increases directly proportional so you think the rotation is also these are the four points which on which the rotation of a plane polarity depends on through which it passed through and the incident light characteristics like this so how we measure this of uh, optical activity so it is measured with a term is the specific rotation so what is specific rotations means the specific rotation of substance can be defined as the angle of rotation of the plane polarized light produced by the crystal of unit thickness at the given temperature for a given wavelength. so as we see in the previous we study about the the dependence of the rotation they depend upon the temperature they depend upon the uh, wavelength and uh, thickness taking all this unit thickness and the temperature and the wavelength so then the plane polarity rotated to certain angle that is called the specific rotation you say particularly for a point this is called specific rotation and this measured in radians per meter or degree so for quartz is a 24 degree is the rotation it rotates specific rotation is 24 degree so some substance are dissolved in a suitable solvents so specific rotation is defined as the angle of rotation of the plane of the polarization produced by column of the solutions unit length produced by the column of the solutions of unit length and the unit concentration of a given temperature for a called a specific rotation in this specific rotation so theta is the rotation produced by l length of the l meter length of the solutions of concentration of c so then there is a some specific rotation for temperature t 
affinity temperature T and uh, wavelength lambda C not x is lambda should be and used by given by the S is equal to temperature T and at constant uh, term lambda uh, wavelength the theta so the specific rotation is given by theta divided by LC it is the angle of rotation L is the length and C is the concentration so there is the some points and the unit of this S is equal to theta by LC is uh, measured in per meter square per unit concentration that is the radian meter square per kg so and this can be converted into theta by LC into pi by 180 degree Celsius in CGS the specific rotation is given by radian centimeter square per C for uh, molar rotation is the product of specific rotation into molecular weight. just multiply with this yes with the molecular weight you get the molecular rotation is the only specific rotation if you want molecular rotation you just multiply with this one and gives the molecular rotations so till you study about the optical activity so what is optical activity which are substance which rotates the optical activity types of optical activity right handed or left handed like this way so and specific rota rotation so and their relation s is equal to theta by lc so and their unit representation so this is the uh, about the optical activity in this session in this session we discuss about this some problems about this one okay thank you thank you very much